Ladies and gentlemen, the Calgary Royals were deeply saddened to hear about the passing of Josh Wozni on August 28th, 2013, this past summer. Um, we want to take this opportunity to extend our deepest condolences uh, to the Wozni family, uh, to friends, teammates, coaches, people who knew Josh and the Wozni family. Especially for this game, on this ice, with these two teams, Midget Blue, Josh's former team, Midget Gold, where he had so many great memories and where he loved to be the best. Uh, we'll be having a brief ceremony tonight. Uh, the President of the Royals, uh, Dave Freeborn, will be uh, talking about some of the things that we plan to do. Josh's dad, Tony, is with us tonight. He'll be uh, sharing some thoughts and memories of, of Josh and uh, Josh's coach, Mark Trombley, who was instrumental in uh, his last year of hockey, is with us as well. Josh began his Royals hockey career with the uh, Bantam AA white team, then graduated to the Bantam uh, AAA team, then went to minor midget uh, AAA blue, finishing his career as assistant captain of the midget AA gold team. He was always a hard-working player, with great skill, but most importantly, he was an exceptional teammate. These qualities made him very popular throughout his career and is well known as a terrific leader. He had the ability to inspire those he touched, and he will always be remembered for his competitive spirit. The Calgary Royals, along with all the players and coaches that were blessed enough to play on the team with Josh and knew him through the association, would like to thank his parents for gracing us with his presence and for all the great memories. The Calgary Royals like to honor Josh's uh, memory in three ways tonight. First, you will note the Wazi seven patches on the Midget AA team's jerseys, sponsored by the Calgary Royals in memory of Josh. Second, the Royals will name one of nine scholarships that we have after Josh Wazi. So effective this hockey season, eligible scholarship candidates will be able to apply and be awarded the Josh Wazi Scholarship. This is the first. Additionally, the Calgary Royals, Royals will hang Josh Wozniak's jersey in case in a jersey box at the Stoop of Hard Arena for all to see. We would like to offer our heart heartfelt sympathies to Josh, uh, sorry, on Josh's loss to the Wozniak family. Our thoughts and prayers are with you. Josh will be remembered fondly, respecting the spirit of friendship, competitiveness, athleticism, and courage. His spirit will live on with us as once a royal, always a royal, and we will never forget. Thanks. I cannot imagine losing my job so suddenly. I mean, I know I don't think you guys still went through. To me, Josh was like a son, a person that I knew I could trust and dedicate anything, responsibilities, knowing things would get done. Josh never had any excuses. I mentioned that to the boys earlier, I mean, this always take responsibilities of his act. And Game and everything. He was always willing to take the blame and do a better job the next time. Josh was the kind of player that you could count on, healthy or not, broken fingers, twist ankles, and he said, Coach, I'm ready to go. <laughs> hey guys. Wow. Josh, look down at us right now with that mischievous smile, going, wow, all these people for me. Um, I mean, look at down at us now. Uh, tonight's the celebration of his life. Uh, we had him for 18 years, and he's touched people. It's pretty obvious with the turnout tonight. Um, I'd like to uh, thank the Royals organization for this special night um, on behalf of Josh's family. Uh, it's an amazing honor. We're humbled by it. Uh, tremendously grateful for this tribute. Josh was proud to be a royal. He loved hockey. He loved to compete. Anybody who played with him knows he'd uh, compete till the end. 
and he did. Uh, he took pride in being a good teammate. And I know talking to him when he was a young boy, and friendships were so important to him, and being part of the team, and doing what was required to be a teammate um, in life, uh, which sport is a microcosm of. Uh, it's an important lesson to have. And, and uh, I was proud of him for the fact that he was a good teammate. Um, with respect to his hockey abilities, it was nice to know that that passion uh, continued on into his life where he wanted to be a personal trainer and get a business degree and he moved on with that passion and was into fitness himself. Um, Josh, I know you were done, but he just ran out of time. Um, now that I think back on his life, it's been a few months. Uh, the thing I'm most proud of from Josh is, is uh, he was a light to us as a family, to his friends, and those people we came in contact with. We had him for a short time, but he left this world a better place than when he came in. And he came in as a six week early screaming little baby, couldn't wait to get out. So, with respect to that, that's what makes me the most proud of him. He was a jokester, as most people know. He had a great sense of humor. He uh, had that little mischievous smile that you see in pictures. Uh, his coaches always said he was hilarious in the dressing room. I never saw it. He was, he was like that. He was quiet in the, in the, in the home, but definitely a, a character. Uh, interesting little story I had this morning. I was emailing one of the first responders, and on my computer popped up this quote, and I'm going to read it to you. Uh, and I closed it, I thought, oh, just from some other application. So five minutes later, the quote popped up again, the same one. And I think I know who it was from. Anyway, it says, um, in the blink of an eye, everything can change. So forgive often and love with all your heart. You never know when you may not have a chance again. And this came up on my screen this morning. Bizarre. Uh, tonight I'd like to ask you for Josh. To smile at a stranger, to say hi to the person in the elevator, to give hugs generously to your friends and family, show gratitude to those who you appreciate in your life, tell them. Give love freely because in the end, love and family and friends is all we have. Um, the motto I live by today, and it's the way Josh lived his life, is to laugh hard and love easy. And that's how we need to remember Josh. His spirit lives on in those who live, who he's, who's, Josh's spirit lives on in those whose lives he's touched. I know myself that he's in my, his spirit's in me, and his legacy lives on with every breath I take. As Kenny Chesney's song says, one of Josh's favorite, which is I go back, only the good die young. Sadly, applies to our Josh. Son, we'll miss you and love you very much until we meet again. Thank you for the celebration of his life and uh, the Royals organization. And uh, have a good game, guys.